Welcome everybody. Just a little update to keep you posted, uh, to give you uh, a report of your prayers out here on what we're doing here in Belize. Today's Sunday, day three, and uh, this is a day that uh, we actually go to church. Believe it or not, street preachers are invited inside the church, not outside the church as we do in America. And so we've got about uh, three, four churches to go to today. We'll be splitting up into a couple of groups and then we'll be going to a church in the evening. But uh, we'll be speaking, encouraging the saints, giving them tools, having them be more outspoken about Jesus Christ. Don't deny him, confess him. And so um, this country still has a lot of residue of Christianity. Today on Sunday, most of the stores are shut down. Businesses are closed. It's considered a, uh, a day of God. And so we don't want to have any uh, service. Anything that's going to be sold, any business conducting is going to be shut down. And so it's very unique, the congregation that we have here in the streets. And we're just here to amplify God's word. That's all. Yesterday was great. The day before was good. And so we're hanging signs everywhere. If we see signs that we've done here uh, two years ago that are uh, beaten up and, and weather ridden, we'll replace them, fix them. And that's what we've been doing uh, yesterday. Uh, and people are happy. Businesses want the Ten Commandments on their sign, on their uh, building. And so uh, uh, it's great. Residents even want the Ten Commandments. We knocked on this door, told them who we were. The guy says, I go to church every Sunday. I'm not ashamed. Please hang that in our, um, in our uh, wall, in our fence. Wherever we can, we're allowing it to do it. In one city we went to, uh, the mayor even wanted to meet us. Imagine that, the mayor. Uh, it just happened that he was in another city and we were in his town. When we left his town, he left the other city. We met him on a, on a little different location and uh, he was thankful for what it is that we were doing. We gave him some banners and he says these are going to go in his city parks as a mayor. This guy was definitely in favor of what we were doing. Acknowledge God. He didn't say, you know, you turn people off. Do you use the word homosexual? Are you once saved, always saved? Do you believe in the rapture? He was just thankful that we were bringing the word of God to his city. And as a mayor, he wants to uh, encourage the people of his city to know the God of the Bible. And so uh, it is a blessing to continue to do this. And so we've got a full day ahead of us after this. But today is Sunday, church day. And so we're going to be encouraging the saints. Just giving you a, a, an update of our fingerprints out here with you included. Thank you for your prayers. Please consider us in prayers. And again, we're not begging for money. We're not saying God's going to bless your business. Uh, you support us. All of your uh, bills are going to be gone tomorrow. We're asking for prayer. We would love to have more prayer and uh, bring unity within even uh, uh, the, the Christian community back in the States. And so God bless you. Thank you for what you're doing. You're with us here. And we, we can really fill your prayers when we're out there because it's hot and humid here in Belize. Most of you are snowed in. And if you're griping about snowed in, trust me, if you were standing out with us, you'd see you'd be griping because it's extremely hot out here, too. Nevertheless, we're going to do it no matter where we're at. Thank you. God bless you. Just keeping you posted. Yeah, yeah, I got it.
Take any four you want. Now the little ones, just don't take these two. Walk around it. Take four of them and you can put down your truck. The strips, actually take three strips and two magnets, little or small. Walk around and see if you see them. Holiness without humility is pride. How about this one? How about this one? How about this one? God will supply all your riches according to Jesus. He's supplying it for you. the others for sale. Now you know how to get a hold of me. This is Inda Wright. Are you on Facebook? Yes. You friend this lady right here. Inda Wright. W-R-I-G-H-T. She's one of our ambassadors, the main one here in Belize, and she's going to have a lot of banners. Pull labor with her. Okay. Go out with her one time, put some banners up. Because okay. every time you put one up, God gets the glory. George, you get the glory. Amen. Amen. Love you, man. Thanks, Jorge. Okay. Thanks, Jorge. Take care. George, right. George, come here and stand right here for one second. And uh, I would just, uh, obviously, God had you passing by right at the right time. Yes. What, do, what, what, what's on your heart that you want to share with uh, people? This may encourage them to do what we're doing. Yes. Um, what I think that um, for me, God does a lot for me. He <laughs> helped me, my family, with everything. You know, I love it. I, I am a, a person that loves work. And I travel everywhere and God is always with me in everywhere, in everything I do. And I am glad that for these things, you can show other people, you know, and to let them know that we have an Almighty out there. Mm -hmm. Our love for, for everything. And thanks. Do you believe that Jesus is Lord of Belize? Yes, he Turn is around. Lord. Turn around. This is for you, another one. Thank you. We love you. Do you like him? Yes. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, Amen, George. God bless okay. you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't forget about us. No, Be careful. I cannot. Oh, how oh, would I? Okay, I love you. Be careful. Okay. Email, you got my number, Inda Wright, I-N-D-A Wright, Render. Okay. Right. Be careful, brother. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. God bless you and your family. Okay. Too. You want lips or a smile? A smile? You want heat? <laughs> this one right here. Oh, wait. Big eyes and little eyes. Big nose or a little nose? Lips or do you want a smile? Lips? Big lips or little lips? Big, everything's big. There you go. How are you? You good? Those kids don't talk. Oh, I'm sure they are talking. Are you talking, kids? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they can talk a lot. Can you talk a lot? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay. See ya. Say bye. We bye. love you. Bye. 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 bye.
you've seen is a result of us uh, dealing, ministering with kids. And this is more of a personal thing for me because uh, I do try to encourage these kids and I want to see what's inside of these kids. Kids have a smile, but you don't know what's going on in their mind. They can be in a stadium of 70,000 people and feel all alone. We really have no idea how what goes on in their life. Depression, antidepressant drugs, possibility of suicide. So when I'm asking them what they want on that balloon, eyes, smile, big eyes, small eyes, most of the kids want eyes looking down as though they're sad. A couple of kids wanted a frown on the face and I was able to talk them into a smile. But you see, when I do this, there's always a different meaning behind it. I'm looking for symbolism. And so as you're watching and looking at these videos and pictures and thinking, Bourbon is just a nice guy doing this. In my, in my prayer closet, I'm crying out for these kids because when they want sad faces looking down, that's an x-ray of what's going on in their lives. And so as adults, we should think as adults and do things for them. But my motive is a little bit different because I like to see what's going on in their life that we don't know. And these kids are actually giving us a little x-ray of what's happening in their lives. And so uh, as you're enjoying the photos and the videos and balloons all around Reuben, pray for these kids. They're, they're our future. They're, they're going to have a theater that's going to be darker than what I grew up in. And so uh, if they're in any type of a problem now, uh, what's going to happen when they get older? I love it when kids want uh, a happy face looking up like they're thankful. But you'll be surprised at this particular school, and I'm not saying it against the school, but you'll be surprised when I do them, and there's a lot of frowns, uh, a lot of faces looking down, uh, don't even want to make eye contact. That means something to me. So. Uh, Appreciate your time and prayers.